Hi Aquarius, this is your horoscope for 2021. Thank you for joining me and welcome to this horoscope. I've had a look at what the outer planets are doing in your chart this year and what areas they highlight. And I'm just going to give you an idea of what areas of your life are really going to be fabulous and easy in 2021 and where you'll have to do a little bit more work. So first of all, Jupiter, the lucky planet, is in your first house of self until June 2021. And that's really good news. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. It's responsible for joy and abundance and good fortune, good luck, things coming easily to you and a natural sense of growth. And in your first house of self, that's really the best place it can be because you're really feeling yourself. You're feeling um, your own confidence, you see your own worth, your own kind of unique energy, and you really take that seriously. And um, you approach things with this happy-go-lucky attitude and on planet Earth perspective is everything. If you approach things with a skip in your step, things are likely to be positive. If you are in a really negative place, unfortunately, more negative things are likely to happen. So you've got a lot of opportunity in terms of the self because you are in a good place to learn to expand your life to focus on whatever area you want to whether it's money or work or family or education you can really apply yourself to whatever you see yourself being so you can manifest yourself into whatever person you want to become so there's huge personal growth available to you but then also Saturn, the antithesis to Jupiter, the planet of structure and security and rigidity and making things more solid and concrete, that's in your first house all year. Jupiter is only there till June. So Saturn allows you to take all of this good energy and to translate it into something concrete that's going to serve you for the future. So any of you Aquarius who struggle with self-esteem or you don't feel good enough, this is your year to really turn it around, not by achieving all these great things, but by really having a connection with self that says, hey, I am special whether I do something or not. I am unique. I do have something amazing to contribute. Saturn is going to allow you to take practical steps about that self-belief. So again, if you want to advance in the area of spirituality or friendships or career or your connection with other people in institutions doing volunteer work you can really apply that energy to any area of your life practically and you can build something solid that's going to be a part of your life for the foreseeable future so that could be a new romantic relationship that lasts forever um, it could be a new business that you build that's there for 20 years 30 years whatever it is that's important to you make sure you focus on it Jupiter moves into your second house in June and stays in the second house of money and abundance until the end of the year. So that's amazing because in terms of good luck in the second house of money, it means that the practical things you're doing are generating income for you and money isn't going to be something that you really have to worry about this year. You'll have enough to do the things that you want and the good luck factor being in that second house means that Things that usually wouldn't have some sort of financial benefit actually do benefit you financially. So look at opportunities that kind of just appear out of nowhere and that take a lot of the pressure off you financially. Pluto is in your 12th house. Pluto is the planet of transformation and change, death and rebirth. And the 12th house is spirituality and spiritual strength. So you see yourself completely differently this year. You're a new person. You're not going to repeat the patterns of the past. You're liberated from things that aren't helpful and you're really able to see your own potential. It's like any good manager isn't going to say, okay, you can do this and we've seen those shows. It's about, I think with your talent, you can do these huge shows um, on a stage with 5,000 people, for example. It's spotting your potential and seeing where you can grow into and what you can do in future. And you're your own personal manager here because you see your own um unrealized potential and you have the practical wherewithal to do something about it in whatever area of your life you choose so you're really the winner in terms of personal power this year because it's all about um, reinventing yourself from a positive place of self-love Uranus is in your fourth house so expect some um, unexpected news or unexpected circumstances to occur in your family life so whether that's um, 
a relationship that wasn't so great just getting better or someone having a child or someone moving abroad there will be shifts in your family life so make sure that you're adaptable and flexible with those things the the thing that you have total control over is yourself other people you don't and we never do and it's going to be quite a busy year for you Aquarius in terms of your family life so make sure that you're not the one digging your heels in and making things more difficult for other people it's not going to serve you Neptune's in your second house of money as well and Neptune is the planet of water dreams love imagination creativity and manifestation so you're really able to manifest whatever it is you want in terms of your financial life so with the power of Jupiter and Saturn in your first, giving you this confidence and ability to handle everything well, it would kind of benefit you a little bit to focus on your finances, even though they aren't going to be a problem because you'll manifest what you need. But if you do want to get rich or really succeed financially, then use that Neptune energy because it's going to guide you in the right direction and you approach things from a very can-do kind of way. So with that energy, you'll be able to create a lot. With Neptune, just watch out that sometimes it can be a bit fuzzy. So it can fill you with anxiety. I don't really know the end result of this. I can't see the big picture. That's okay. That's what Neptune does. It also heightens your intuition. So rather than trying to figure out what the end result is going to be, enjoy the journey and listen to your gut, your intuition. It's going to guide you on the right track. Chiron's in the third. Chiron's the wounded healer. So the relationship you have with yourself and the way you see the world and the way you see other people around you, everything that happens within here, basically, can be healed. So any limiting beliefs or any... Uh, negative experiences from the past that have been traumatic and you are not able to let go of you can really revisit those heal them and that kind of is like chicken and the egg with Jupiter and Saturn in your first because do you feel better about yourself because you healed negative beliefs or did feeling better about yourself and super confident naturally heal your limiting beliefs because you're doing things which provide you evidence that those are no longer true it really doesn't matter if it's chicken or the egg. What matters is that you're really able to get yourself from a negative place into a super positive place, especially when it comes to you. So I'm going to give you a couple of themes here, marked out of 10. So for love, self-love certainly, um, you get a 10 out of 10. When it comes to love and relationships with other people, I would give you a 7, because the focus is really about you. Career, I'm going to give you a 7 as well, because if you choose to do something about Neptune in the second, you can really be financially very successful in your career, and money will get a 7 as well then. Family is 9, because there's a natural connection with people you love. Health is 6, it's not a major focus for you. Friendship, 7. Spirituality, an absolute 10 out of 10, because you're so tuned in. You can manifest whatever it is you're dreaming of. Your imagination is fired up. And travel, finally, I gave you a seven. Because you're going to want to travel and expand your life, but it's not the major focus. It's really finding a niche for you to slot into. And that's going to be the really satisfying thing about 2021, because you're able to realize your own true potential. So that's amazing. These horoscopes, I don't know if I've mentioned this, um, they're for sun sign Aquarius first, if you watch several. Um, then it's for your rising sign Aquarius second, and then moon Aquarius third. So if you watch them for sun, rising, moon, watch them in that order. Sun first, then the rising or ascendant, and then the moon sign finally. Okay. Have a wonderful 2021. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your readings to audio reading with me. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share the video online. Have a wonderful year, and I'll speak to you soon.